everybody, welcome to the first installment of a new series I'm going to have on my channel, which is called What Were They Thinking? You might wonder why that title. You just heard me play a really cool lick by the absolutely amazing Brent Mason. What a spectacular guitar player. I'm a huge fan of Brent Mason. I hope someday to be one-tenth the guitar player he is. So what I'm going to do in this series is periodically I'm going to pick a lick from a favorite player of mine that was a very influential lick, let's say, for my playing and something I really like and, and something that I, I know a lot of you will probably like too. And I'm gonna try to do it in various styles. And I'm gonna take that one small musical phraser lick and I am going to break it down and try to get in the head of the player who played it. In this case, Brent. Now I have no way of knowing what any player was actually thinking when they did any of these things, but I think I could deduce fairly accurately what was going on just by the structure of the licks they're using and you throwing a little bit of music theory in there, talking about some of the techniques uh, that I think they're using when they play it. So I hope this is gonna be an enjoyable series. Like I said, it's gonna be various styles of music. Today I wanted to do this. Lately I've been on a big Brent Mason kick and really listening to a lot of his stuff. And I just love this lick that I played in the beginning of this video, which is kind of his signature little, we'll call it melody from his classic song, Hot Wired. So let's dive right into it. So you saw me play it quickly. Now, if I was to go through this slowly, let me just play this for you and then I'll explain what I feel uh, Brent is thinking as he's playing it. I could be wrong though. So here's the lick slowly. All right, so what exactly is Brent doing? When you play this up to speed, kind of like how I had it closer to in the beginning of this video, it looks like a lot of crazy movement all over the place. And it's really hard to kind of make heads or tails of the notes because they don't really seem to be following any common shapes that maybe a lot of us know. So let's, before we dive into what Brent actually played, let's look at what I think theoretically he is actually accessing through this. And we're gonna start off very simple with a pattern that all of us know, which is the A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, that's not a real revelation to anybody. We all kind of know that pattern. We also want to touch on something called the blues scale, which is going to be the A minor pentatonic scale with a flatted fifth interval put into it. Next, we want to add in a major third interval, very common in country music and really kind of borrowing from the Mixolydian scale. So there's our third interval, here's our flat third interval. Oftentimes they'll play it with the minor third interval first going into the major third interval. You'll notice I'm doing these in different places on the fretboard. We want to know them in various positions. And lastly, we're going to borrow again from the Mixolydian mode and add in the F sharp note or the major sixth interval in A. And that would give us this. And if we add in that flat five interval, If we take all of those added notes, so basically it's going to be the pentatonic scale with the sixth interval, the major third, and the flat five. And using those notes now, we can create this lick that Brent did on Hotwired. Now, we would also want to be aware, though, that there are, are other positions to this pentatonic scale. We could do it here. And we can add these same notes in. There's our flat five. There's our six. Right, we can still go from our minor third to our major third. Mm -hmm. 
So there's our major third, there's our flat five, there's a flat five, there's our sixth, there's a sixth. So those are all here as well. We can also do our A minor pentatonic scale with our open strings. And we can add those same notes in again. Major third, flat fifth, there's our sixth again, major third again, flat five again, So if we have all of those patterns, we can now understand what Brent was doing. One other thing Brent is doing though, is he's not flat picking this. He's playing it with hybrid picking. And if you notice over here on my picking hand, I'm using my pick and middle finger to do this, and it's gonna give it a little more snap to it. All right, so more like the chicken picking style that we would expect coming from a, a country picker like Brent. Okay, so that's great. So now we start off basically with this note, A. We go to G, and then he plays with his hybrid picking the high E string. But let's really think about what that is. He's just coming up with a different way to play the next note in the A minor pentatonic scale. You'll notice it has a different sound to it. Okay, he follows that up by skipping down the blue scale and pulling off to our D note. Now, that open string gives me an opportunity to shift position. Right? But if we actually look at what that is, these two notes can be played up here too. So really, if I played it more straight in a, in, a, in a pattern that we would be more likely to recognize. Very different sound to it. Okay, then he goes and adds in that minor third with the hammer on up to the major third. So, but again, if we bring that back into one position, all he's doing now is this. Very typical lick, not so typical with the way that Brent arranged it on the fretboard. He goes back to this idea of the fourth interval to the flat five. and back up to our high E, which would just sound like this. So really, he's just stuck in this kind of blue scale pattern, adding that major third in, but doing it in a much more creative way that gives it a certain flow, a certain snap to it with the hybrid picking that's really quite brilliant. Now, that last high E string note where he plucks that, which allows him the ability to go back down to a minor third and hammer into the major third again. And if you really think of that little open E string that I'm snapping in there with the hybrid picking every now and that, that's what really buying me time to move around the fretboard and position for the next move into this lick. So if we look at that all in one position again, it back there, a little bit of a different tone and a different sound to it because of the way we've moved it around. Okay, now that we're there, we end up coming into this position we were talking about. And 
he uses notes from here. So... You know what, and what I do there, if you notice, I'll repeat a little lick or a portion of the lick over and over again is a really good way to learn this, to get it up to speed. Brent really rips through this. It's very fluid and very effortless. So to get it to that point, we do need to just be able to get the muscle memory taking over on it. So if there's a little part like in the beginning, Just keep doing that until that becomes a part of what you do and then add a couple more notes to it and get your movements done. Make sure you're doing everything right. And then eventually you'll just find yourself doing it not really giving it any thought, you know, to get it up to the speed that Brent does it at. So here we are again. And you can see that just on the tab. That's all just from the pentatonic scale. So we did that major third move. Then he adds in that flat five interval again. Down to our minor third again. To the fourth. Back to a slide from, you guessed it, the minor third to the major third. You see how important that move is. We've seen that move over and over again. Right? So that minor third to major third move is super important to get this country pick in sound. Now he adds in that sixth interval we were talking about from the Mixolydian mode. So all together then, If you notice, he does a little triplet. This is all 16th notes. That's the one little triplet rhythmic break in it. And then he hits that C note at the end, the, the minor third, gives it a little snap and a little bend, a little quarter step bend up before ending on the A, which then leads into that main kind of riff of the tune we all know which he does little variations on throughout the tune. So entirely that lick all together now, we can kind of see the patterns that Brent used to come up with these ideas. Totally wrong note at the end there. Anyways, I hope that that was explained properly. I had the tab up on the screen so you can kind of see uh, what I was doing. Go back and review it and kind of get to know those scales with those added notes in. One thing you can do is just practice your pentaton scale in all three of those positions. Actually, all five would be better. I have other videos up mastering the pentatonics, so if you want to dive into those and learn those patterns, and then you can go through one at a time and add each note in. Create the blues scale. You know, and do that all over. and then add in those other sweetener tones where we find out where all our minor third to major third moves are. And once you 
once we get used to those notes, adding in again from Mixolydian. And get very comfortable getting those under our fingers, we're gonna be able to do some very interesting things with them and expand outside of our pentatonic scale. So that's what I love so much about this particular lick that Brent had is that kind of main hook in his hot wired tune. I hope you understand it more now. Play it very slowly, take your time, absorb what's going on, figure out the proper way to pick it. That you know, it might even be different for you than what Brent does, that's or what I do. I don't know if I'm playing it the same way as Brent. I think. I am, I've watched videos of him doing it, it seems to be pretty similar, but that's what I think Brent was possibly thinking in creating this lick. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get some use out of watching it. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and I hope you guys like this series. Please let me know in the comments below if this is something you want to see more of. I plan on doing some more and I have some really cool licks in mind that I hope can uh, help me improve on them as well as helping you to maybe uh, explore some new ideas you wouldn't have thought of and expand your playing as well. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out, and I will be back very soon with some more. Thanks again for tuning in. Ciao for now.